Hey everybody, this is Michael Skeleton here. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up and play Trambon. So it's a two player game, it takes 30 to 45 minutes and it's pretty easy but it's also a lot of fun. Here's the back of the box, it's published by Mayfair Games and it's basically a set collection game. So you've got four different colors of cards and you're trying to get them in sets and score points and get the most points at the end of the game. So, how to set up the game. It's actually fairly simple. Right here we have all four stations set up. And these represent the four colors in the game. So blue, red, green, and yellow. Also, we have the train cards. So there's times four, times three, and times two. They're all the same. You just want to stack them one on top of the other. So all the times two three and four together and then you want to put fours on the bottom threes on top and twos on top of that now we're going to move those over to where both players can reach them we're going to put the top three cards out and these are the three cards that the players can buy throughout the game and these are the ones coming up so at first there's only the times two cards next to last there are the two turn summary cards there's one for each player, so you just want to put one in front of each player. All right, and then we have every other card in the game. This is the deck of cards that we're going to be using to play the game. You just want to shuffle it up real quick, and then we're going to deal to each player. Whoever starts first gets $12,000, and the second player, the other player, gets $15,000. So for this example, we're going to have my wife who is filming this video. She's going to go first, and so we're going to give her $12,000. That means deal 12 cards face down and give them to her. There's her $12,000. She got a, a bit less money to spend than I do because she's going first, and that could be an advantage. And then I get 15. So that is my stack of money. I'll put it under my player aid. And then each player gets six cards to start their hand. So... We're going to deal six cards to each player. All right. So that is Hilda's six cards. These are my six cards. We're going to take the rest of the cards and just set them aside where we both can reach them. That is the draw deck. And now we are ready. And Hilda is looking at her cards <laughs> instead of looking at me. <laughs> All right, so in Trombon, you're basically collecting sets, and you're going to try and get the most score. So what happens is every turn, someone plays a passenger to this collective row. So there's blue, red, green, and yellow, which are the four colors of the game. And every turn, each player is going to have to play one or two cards. So in this example, let's say Hilda plays a red card onto the red row. That means once there's four passengers of the same color, we score that color. And it doesn't matter who played the card, both players score the color. So right now we're gonna both score red, take the four passengers from that row and discard them. So they're now in the discard pile. And then we're going to add up our scores. So in this case, which I've just set up kind of a general example, Hilda has a 5 and an 8 red, and she's got a times 2 there. So the her value is 1 plus 2, which is 3, and then because she's got the times 2, she actually gets 6 points total. Now, on my example, I don't have any, I don't have red, so I would get 0 points. So on the scorecard, Hilda's going to write 6 for her score, I'm going to write 0 for my score, and that will be our first tour. We're going to play the game through 10 scoring rounds, 10 tours, and then the game will end. And whoever's got the most points at the end will win. Each player starts with this player aid that has five steps for their turn. And on your turn, you're going to go through one through five and do them. So I'm going to step you through them now. The first thing you can do is place one or two cards as passengers. So you start the game with six cards in your hand, and you can play one or two of these as passengers to the stations. Now you're playing them because you want to score them or because it doesn't matter, the opponent doesn't have anything of that color, so you don't care if it's scored. So in this case, Hilda wants to score orange and yellow. She has a yellow passenger in her hand, so she could play it there. Um, and that could be it, that's one or two cards. Now you can, can play two cards. She could play a 10 green 
and they can be the same or different. So she could play either two greens and no yellow, or she could play a yellow and a green, or she could just play one and it doesn't matter. There are jokers in the deck. They can be played at any station for any color. So you could play a 10 and a joker here and it would count as a green or you can play it somewhere else and it would count as whatever color it's played in. Okay, so after you play one or two passengers, then you place any number of cards as stations in front of you. So in this example, Hilda has a red and a yellow station already. Now she can play any of these in front of her to make a new set, a new station. She's got a one green and a two blue, which are pretty good for starting a new station. One thing to note is that in the deck as a whole, there are cards numbered one through 10 for every color. There's only two ones and two tens and three of every number. So when you're starting a station, you wanna use as low a number as possible. So let's say she starts a green station. So she could put the one down in front of her. And also let's say she wants to put the four down with it. Now when you're doing a station, you have to go in ascending order. You can't go one, seven, and then four. That's not good, but you could go one, four, seven. But once you're here, you can never play anything less than a seven. You're hoping for an eight, nine, and a 10. Now she could play more. She could actually play the two blue as a new station. Then step three is place any number of cards as money on your money pot. So the only card she has left is a 10 yellow. That's really high. She has a yellow station started and she could play this here if she wanted because 10 is higher than seven, but she's hoping for an eight or a nine first. So she could take this card, she can either save it for next round or she can make it money. So let's say she makes it money. She just puts it on her money pile face down and then she has to purchase trains. We've got a green and a blue station started. Now, if these don't get trains, they're just discarded as money, but she has enough money to buy two trains. At the start of the game, they're all times two and they are all cost $5,000. So she would have to spend 10, one, two, three, 10, now that money is just discarded, so it goes to, to the discard pile. She gets two trains that she places. Of note is when the times three trains come out, they cost 10 instead of five. And when the times four trains come out, they cost 15 instead of five or 10. The other thing is that you don't actually replenish the trains until the end of your turn. So she could purchase at most three trains and then it would be empty. And then at the end of her turn, she puts the rest out. So at the end of the turn, we put out two more trains to replace the two she just bought. And those are available on my turn. So the last thing we're doing on the turn is draw cards until you have a hand of six. She has no cards in her hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the six cards that are available next turn. And then after that, it is my turn and I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, so one thing I haven't talked about is the extra tours. So on the score pad, there is an extra tour section. Um, this is an extra scoring round, and you get that when you get eight cards into one of your stations. All right, so here, let's say um, we have a seven and a nine in our hand, and this is our green station right now. We've got a one, three, four, a joker, a five, and a six. So total, we have six cards in that station. So if on our turn, we play the seven and the nine down, now we have eight cards in this station, and we get an extra tour. So we add all the point values up. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, times two is 18. So that means we get an extra tour score of 18. And we'll write it right down here. Generally, you're only gonna do this once or twice. Um, you get to score this, the other person doesn't, and that's just kind of like a bonus on top. It doesn't matter how many jokers you have, and actually jokers are good because it helps you get to eight cards total. The other thing to know is you can have more than one extra tours. So if you get eight cards in more than one station, you can score them both. But once something has eight cards, if you add a ninth, it doesn't score again. 
The other thing to note is that once you add a 10, you can't add any more to that pile. So once Hilda put a 10 here, she can't add jokers to this. So she can't add four more jokers and possibly get an extra to her. The second it's got a 10 on it, that's it. That's done, no more. Another thing I want to point out is that you can have two stations of the same color. So Hilda could have a red, a green, and two blue stations, that's fine. Okay, one other thing I haven't mentioned yet is this is our draw pile, this is our discard pile. And let's say it's the end of my turn and I have no cards in hand, so I have to draw six. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now there's no more cards here. So what happens is both players have to discard half their money and then we shuffle the discards. So I have $15,000, the same as what I started with. If I have to discard half rounded down, I would have to discard seven cards. And then Hilda, she has three cards, so she has to discard one. Now, after we've discarded half our money rounded down into the discards, we shuffle this back up and we keep playing. Okay, so the end of the game is the first thing you do on your turn is place one or two passengers. If I played this passenger as one of them, and that means we score red. If that is our 10th tour, 10th scoring, it immediately ends. I don't get to play more to my stations or anything else. We just both score red and that is the end of the game. You add up one through 10, all your tours, what you scored, plus your extra tours. The other thing to know is you can have more than one extra tours. All right, so that is how to play Trambon. It's a really fun game. It's quite simple. It's a collection. It's for only two players. We really enjoy it. There's a nice balance of, do I go for the same colors as the other person? Because when they score it, I want to get some points. Or do I just go uh, for the other colors and try and score them because they don't have any yellow and I want to score my yellow and they won't get any points. It always seems really close and it doesn't take that long, honestly. it's uh, It goes pretty smooth. What do you think, Hilda? I love it. All right, so that's Trambon. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. You'll be 